What's up guys, this is Star Road Warrior, back to do more Super Mario Kart for the SNES or Wii U Virtual Console. Uh, yeah, let's, let's just jump right into it. Start the uh, second track of the 50cc. Uh, I think this time might be somebody different. Let's go... Let's go Death Stare Luigi. He does kind of look a little derpy in this game. I don't know how well my microphone will pick it up, but there's some rumbles of thunder in the background. <laughs> This is an interesting course, Choco, Choco, uh, land or whatever it is. I would kind of really wish that sometime in the near future, Mario Kart 8 will implement new uh, track DLC. They've so far confirmed the, uh, the Mercedes-Benz uh, DLC. So that's exciting. It's really exciting for me, just kind of a <laughs> dumb personal, is the, uh, I posted, posted the video of my thoughts on, uh, Super Smash Brothers, and at the time of recording this, it had 40 views, and I know 40 views is not that much, but for me, it kind of is, because it means that at least a few people are watching the video, and it's not just me watching it over and over again. So, that was a good rumble of thunder. I don't know if that got picked up or not on the microphone, but anyway. So, like I said, for me it's a good thing because it means that one or two people are actually watching it. Or they stumbled on it and didn't have anything better to do, so they let the video play. Either way, that's a win for me. Uh, but about that video, the I watched it in its entirety, and I realized, hmm, there's a lot of things that I left out. Uh, for one, I didn't even talk about Mega Man. And that's probably because I didn't get to play as Mega Man. I just saw... Whoops. I just saw a bunch of people play as him, and one of the fears that I had about Mega Man was that he was going to be, I don't know, overpowered, but just kind of, I guess, really spammy and cheap. Well, but it seems that a lot of people think that his attack power should be more than what it is, and it's not. Ooh. His attack power is really not as strong as they like for it to be, or maybe his attacks weren't coming out as fast as they probably should. But they gotta realize that if his attacks came out super fast or they did super strong, then he would be a broken character, and we know how much people love broken characters. <laughs> Meta Knight. <laughs> so, but really don't need to be talking about Smash Brothers in a Mario Kart video. This is more... It's not what I had in mind, but... There's not much to talk about in Mario Kart. Except the DLC that's coming out. Um... 27th of this month. Which I'll be sure to get, because it's free. Duh. Um... Along with the DLC, there was some... Changes some improvements Ooh. really loud light or thunder I really hope that's coming through because I don't want to be like oh thunder and then you hear absolutely nothing
I don't think I've said this, but while using or playing the um, this Mario Kart, I'm only able to use the gamepad, which is okay. It's not cumbersome, but I really want to use the Wii, Wii U Pro Controller because I like it a lot more. But gamepad's not that bad. I don't have much to say. I kinda said everything. Uh, for anybody that's actually watching this, is there, is there a game with it that you would like for me to play next? I really don't have any kind of like, I need to play these games, I need to play that game. Or, ooh, that was loud. Anyway, I don't have any games that like I have to play or want to play. Right now I'm currently playing or finishing up Mass Effect 1. Um, I don't have any games that I need to play until September, which is when Hyrule Warriors finally comes out. Um, whenever it was first kind of announced and it's like said that they had online capabilities, like it's going to be some sort of online co-op mode, I immediately thought about me and a friend doing the co-op mode. But, uh, whoop. Um, but I saw somewhere that it's not going to be the online, it's not going to be a, the campaign that's going to be co-op, it'll be something else. So that makes me think that it's going to be the adventure mode, if anybody saw that, where you're given the um, NES style Legend of Zelda map to explore. And that was loud. Anyway, you're given the NES map to explore, and, you, and each square gives you some sort of requirement to complete that um, square and unlock treasures such as new weapons or heart pieces. And I think that's what we'll do. We'll do the co-op adventure mode. So we'll see whenever the game comes out. Hopefully he'll be able to get it. <laughs> he'll... He wants me to play uh, Monster Hunter, and I've never really had sort of the motivation to play Monster Hunter, but unless I'm playing it like with the friend co-op, so hopefully we'll do some co-op in Monster Hunter, maybe? I don't know. Just have to see. I really don't want to start any big new game anytime soon because of all the games that I'll be getting September and October. Whoop. But we'll see. Only time will tell. I may continue the trend of doing Mario Kart. I've got all, well, I do have all of them, but the only thing is the DS, uh, Game Boy Advance DS and 3DS version, whoop, is going to be really hard to film and record. Well, I mean, I say it's going to be hard. I have to set up a camera, and I really don't like to do that because I have to make up this very weird and not very comfortable setup of setting books and my camera phone. That's not very fun. It's hard to see the screen too sometimes. I wouldn't mind getting some sort of device to actually capture 3DS, but I think that the only way I'm going to do that is have to go online and buy a modded 3DS with a capture ability and I really don't want to do that. 
I've actually seen where people have bought a Japan 3DS. God, he just stopped. Uh, a Japan modded 3DS. They could play Smash Brothers early, which is really, really dumb because a normal 3DS is about $190. A Japan modded 3DS is about $500 to $600. So I'm, I'm excited to play Smash. I can't wait to play it. But I will never buy a $500 modded Japan 3DS. That's really dumb. But it's not my money. It's somebody else's money. More power to you, I guess. I would never do that. I would never buy modded. I never pay $500 for a 3DS when you can buy one for $190. Or maybe even less than that. This track was in the Wii version. This is where I choke so hard. This is by far one of the curviest tracks too. Oh, you little cheater. Oh, it still hit you, though. That's the thing about the AI in this game, is they are the worst about avoiding items. Or, whenever we get to Rainbow Road, you'll see that they will completely defy the laws of gravity and just not fall off the track. So, can't believe they left that in here. Whatever. This is not going to be fun whenever we get to 150. You know, we still haven't. We played two. This is the second. Uh, second course. Or second. Uh, Grand Prix, and we haven't seen the Vanilla Ice, Vanilla, it's Vanilla Lake, Vanilla Lake, Vanilla Lake track, the, uh, <laughs> this is like Mario Kart, or Mario Circuit 4, 3, 4, something like that, and, you know, they've already ran out of ideas, we haven't seen the, like I said, we haven't seen, uh, the Vanilla Lake. So that went by, I say, fairly quick. Another. It says being recording for about 13 minutes. Well, that's about right. These tracks aren't really that that long. They have by far the most laps of any course, um, other than Baby Park in the Grand or uh, GameCube, where it had seven. But every course on Super Mario Kart is five laps long. That is a really small trophy. Check out Luigi and his spinning bottles of champagne. That is champagne, it's nothing else. I promise you. There's people that comment, Oh, what? They're spinning bottles of beer. No, it's champagne. For anybody that didn't know, uh, <laughs> racing, that's what they use, champagne. But, anyway. That's it done for this for the second course we only got one more in 50 cc and then we'll graduate to 100 cc so be sure to come back and check that out thanks guys